Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm awfully excited because my first guest tonight is the Golden Globe winning actor you know from Alias and I know as an extremely reliable babysitter. <laughs> she now stars in the film Wakefield. Please welcome Jennifer Garner. <laughs> I have wanted to sit across a desk from you for so long. I know. It really has been a long time. Well, well let's quickly tell the people here uh, how we know each other. Yes. Uh, I'm sure they remember. Sure, you must remember. <laughs> I'm sure you guys must remember. The episode of Spin City we were both in. <laughs> we were both guest stars in an episode of Spin City. You all saw it, right? 1996. Yeah. Something 1996. like that. 1996. 1996, back when Spin City was rocking. It was. It was a big deal. I was a cat lady. Something. I was. I had you were something to do with cats. The of one of the cast members. Yes. Yeah. And who were you? You wore a suit. I was. Uh, uh, like the governor's assistant or something like that? And I had maybe ten lines in the episode and you had... Two. Two. <laughs> right so here, right big, here, baby. You are the big star. That's right. So at the rap party, when the whole thing's over for that, for that week's episode, you, uh, you said, well, I'm out of a job. And I said, I'm out of a job, too. And I said, and I have a baby. <laughs> and you said... I babysit. So you started babysitting See how it went? for me, and this is this is how this is how you yeah, survive as an went. actress. By the way, did um, Evie ever learn Italian? Oh yes, yeah, she did. Did she? she? Did. Well, I mean, she took Italian classes. Yeah. Right. I babysat on her Italian classes night. Right. So she would go out and take mm, on uh, Mondays. Yes. All I think she remembers is mi marito, her husband. <laughs> That's the word that she remembers. But so you would babysit for our daughter Madeline. Yes. And I traded off with my roommate, depending right. on who was working mm -hmm. in the restaurant and who was, yes, Karina, who's still bestie, godmother to my kids. Hi. 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 <laughs> and then one day you came and you said, I got a new agent. Yes. He wants me. To go to L.A., mm -hmm. and I did. And we said, Bye. oh, that poor thing. But you know what? Because you were so nice. You are so nice. You're not, you're not formerly well, nice. You were presently way, nice. Well, <laughs> You were yeah. so nice. <laughs> we thought, like, she gonna, Los Angeles will devour her. Oh, well, Because you were, like, straight from did. West Virginia. It, it did. Yes, it devoured me, but I'm bit. okay. Yeah. yeah, I'm all right. Mm -hmm. But I would just remember your gorgeous little girl. She was such a peanut. She was really smart. She was very verbal. Yeah, she still is. Verbal she still and is. Very, um, she still is. She was. Mm -hmm. And she was precocious and adorable. Mm -hmm. And I remember the two of us like going into your drawers and trying on your clothes. And <laughs> <laughs> you don't have any photos of that or anything, do you? No? So, so, so you go out to L.A. and we're like, okay, that's it. We'll never hear from Jennifer Garner again. She's nice. She's talented and everything, but still, too nice for Los Angeles. I thought the same. A few, <laughs> a few years pass by. Uh -huh. A few years pass by, and you've done some work. But uh, I, I come out of the Lincoln Tunnel, and there, eight stories on the side of a building on Forty Second Street, is you from in the alias I in the Sydney Barstow the in a red fun. wig oh, in the gray cat suit, like doing this thing. Yeah. Looking, you know, super sexy, and I pretty much drove up on the sidewalk. <laughs> and when I got to the bodega to get my coffee that morning for work, there the it was like the TV guide had oh, that same isn't picture. Isn't that the coolest? That was. I mean, imagine like that moment when things shift for you like that. When you go from, you know, babysitting and struggling to all of a sudden being. It was that was really fun. Right, right? and everybody I must have known really that lucky. that was going to be a huge breakout role for you because you were everywhere. Well, it's J.J. Abrams. He, you know, great, he kind of knows great. what he's doing. Yeah. So I buy the TV guide <laughs> and I take it home. <laughs> And I cover your name uh -huh. on it. And you've got the red wig and again the oh, cat suit. And I showed it to Evie. Have I ever told you the story? No. Okay. So I showed it to Evie and I said, my wife, and I said, guess who that is? And she said, I don't know, is somebody on the Daily Show tonight? Who is that? And I said, no, 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 take a look. And she goes, I just don't know who that is. And I took my finger off her name. And she went, oh, that's, <laughs> that's Jen. I said, yes. And she said, she wasn't hot. <laughs> And I said, <laughs> yes, she was. <laughs> and she said, you never said anything. And I said, what am I supposed to say? Have you noticed how hot the babysitter is? It doesn't go over well. Doesn't go over well. Doesn't go over well. Does not go okay, over well.
Um, you uh, are known to be like one of the most trusted and uh, uh, most likable uh, people in Hollywood. What's? I'm not sure what's happening right now, but um, <laughs> I don't want anything like, to you know, pop you, out. You, that you would endorse be endorse things. People would like sort of trust the endorsements. Oh, that's that you nice. Do. Could I ask you a favor, as an sure. old friend, old Absolutely. friend? Absolutely. Would you would you mind just looking at the camera, endorsing this show for the people out there, and just saying you should watch the show? I'm Jennifer Garner, and I think you might enjoy the show. And what's sure. in your wallet? <laughs> <laughs> Um, you want to say? Yeah, I can. Sure. Okay. Stephen Colbert is someone that you can have faith in to bring you evening entertainment that you will laugh at, learn from, and enjoy. <laughs> Welcome to the Stephen Colbert Show. Except now it's called The Late Show with Stephen Colbert. <laughs> Super Bowl ratings. You're the best. I charge okay. for that, by the way. You got the, the new film called Wakefield. Yes. Uh, where you play, if you get this right, Diana Wakefield. Yes. And uh, your husband, Howard Wakefield, is played Brian by... Brian Cranston. Great Brian Cranston. All right. And um, what, is, what is it about? It's a, a little bit of an odd story. It is an, it's a fascinating story. It's all about Brian Cranston's performance, which if you say, you don't need to hear anything more than that, right? He's so amazing. But basically, he's a guy who works in the city, lives in Connecticut, he's on the train home one night, and he just thinks, I can't bear to walk into my house again. I can't go back into the routine with my wife and my two daughters. I can't listen to them talk about the same mundane things. So he ends up going into the attic of our house, which is above our garage, and from the window in our attic, he can look into the kitchen window of the house, and he starts starts watching, and he lives up there for a year. But, and you don't know he's up And we don't know he's there. So he's hiding, he's living like a vagrant, coming down at night, You'll, I mean, you know, kind of scrounging around the neighborhood in the garbage, and he, um, but he lives watching his family, and you only see us through, from his point of view, so you hardly hear us talk. But in the, the next scene is the scene between you and yes. Brian. Yes, okay, oh yeah, well, besides here, <laughs> Besides right now, where you will see us before, um, it's kind of a flashback to what our relationship was like right before he decided to be an attic liver. Okay. <laughs> Jim. I'm so sick of this, this constant surveillance. You... Whoa, 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 whoa. No, you have muzzled me to the point where I can't carry on a conversation with other parents. I barely relate to people well, anymore. You were relating to him. What do you not see? I mean, do you think I'd be even remotely inclined to start something up with anyone, given the relationship we have? All I want is to get through the day. That's what I think about, just get through the day. That's an intense scene. That's an intense scene. That's an intense scene. Mm -hmm. Did you guys do anything to, like, do any ex acting exercises, or was there a long rehearsal process to get we, into the couple we, relationship? This was a tiny movie on a teeny tiny budget, and usually where you are, you know, if you're playing, doing something as intimate as this movie, because you really had to believe this marriage, in order for it to play, even though we're not together, you know you have to really believe there's a connection between these people, and we did have a love scene. And so you had to kind of, there was an intimacy, Thing there. And so um, the director, Robin Swicord, said, you know, I learned about this model that we can use to kind of make intimacy happen quickly. Not what you're thinking, but, um, it, but it is very interesting and unique, and I think I should tell you about it. So we got together at this house, and we, Brian and I first had to stand and stare into each other's eyes for a long time, like an uncomfortably, uncomfortably long time, and she was talking to us about, imagine this person as a baby, imagine this person as a six-year-old. So we're staring at each other, and we're trying not to giggle. Then we had to sit on the floor back to back and like rub backs against each other. I mean, it's so uncomfortable. So then we're touching hands. Then she had him remove my socks and look at my feet. And then we had to stand next to each other and sniff each other. <laughs> You're looking at me like it's as strange as... No, 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 that's what I thought it would be. <laughs> well, it was lovely to see you again. It was so nice to see you. If I can ever return the favor, if you need any babysitting... I do. You do? I have 17 children. That's what I feel like. Are, are they in the city with you? No. All right, well, let's go party. Oh. <laughs> 
Thank Lovely you so to see much. you, Janet. Yeah. Obviously, says hi. Yeah. Wakefield is in theaters today. Jennifer Garner, everybody. We'll be right back with comedian Dimitri Martin.